A live look at Eastman tonight after a power outage resulted in oil being released into the South Fork of the Holston River. Tonight, the company says that oil was hydraulic oil. Eastman also says ethylene glycol was also released. Ethylene glycol is used to make products like paints, plastic and cosmetics, something Eastman has previously stated is not an extremely hazardous material. Earlier today, Eastman said methyl iodide and iodine had been released into the air. That iodine caused purple smoke that a lot of people saw in that area. The Environmental Protection Agency says methyl iodide can irritate the lungs and the skin. Science testing lab Thermo Fisher says iodine can do the same as well as irritate your eyes. Well, tonight, operations at the massive Kingsport plant are shut down. And as the company works to restart the site, they say people should expect to hear loud steam venting that could see and they could see more steam than usual at the site. Well, tonight there's concern among some who live next door to Eastman. They say the chemical company needs to do a better job of letting people know what's going on when failures like this happen. John Janko spoke with people who question if they should keep living in Kingsport. Josh, Sarah, I talked to Kingsport residents where Eastman facilities are visible from their front door. Some live in the neighborhood where debris containing asbestos rained down in January. They say they deserve to know more as these failures happen. I can see pretty much the whole plant, so in my opinion, uh, we should be the first to know. Ashley Burt can see the flames from the plant at her house. She stayed inside after receiving notification about an issue at the plant on her phone. Kingsport police officials say they received word about the purple iodine vapors about an hour after they had been spotted. They then activated the city's hyperreach system to notify people. That goes out by uh, phone calls, it goes out by uh, text message, it goes out by emails. But Burke says the company needs to do a better job being clear about what's going on. To me, being upfront with the community that, you know, keeps you in business. Anita Fleener received a phone call at work about the problem. We were still close to the plant and what I heard was that there has been a discharge but they didn't say what. Fleener lives in the neighborhood next to the plant where debris containing asbestos fell last year. A former longtime Eastman employee, Fleener worries about safety at the plant after those two incidents. My concern is that there may not be as thorough or as active a safety measure in all the different areas of Eastman. After 11 this morning, Kingsport activated its emergency operations center, but say no Eastman officials came to those meetings. After two incidents shut down the plant this year, Burke questions her future in the city. I don't want to live here in Kingsport. It makes me nervous. The hyperreach system was improved after the steam line failure earlier this year. It's now able to notify people based on their location without any sign up required. In Kingsport, John Jenko, News Channel 11.